my fellow Americans. As we all know, the past five months have been very, very harrowing. What? Excuse me. The past five months have been very harrowing and... Okay, listen. It's been very bad, okay? I mean, very, very bad. Probably the baddest time ever in American history. But I'm here tonight to let you know that thanks to our fine young men and women, we have successfully defeated the crisis that's been threatening our borders. And we can all get back to living our lives. That's right, because America is great. Really, really great. America is probably the greatest country of all time. And we have come out victorious once again. These people have no clue about Department 24 or the aliens. Mother So, do you two know why you're here? The two of you have been reassigned to the Department of Information Control. What the hell is the Department of Information Control? The DIC is basically Department 24's PR department. Oh! Did you just spell... Do you think you're the first to make that joke? You think you're clever? Uh, no ma'am. Good. Because while you're in here cracking middle school level jokes, the Twitter sphere is blowing up since POTUS's address last night. False information is everywhere, and nobody puts out false information about Department 24 except us. Nobody. I've been told that you two are exceptionally creative. And, uh, don't call me ma'am. No, sir? Ugh. We could make a documentary, uh, control the narrative around Department 24 in a way that keeps everyone confused. Now that's the kind of creative thinking we need when Director Harris calls. Do we have to talk to Harris? Can't you just pass on the information? I'm afraid you'll have to put up with him like the rest of us do. He's not really that bad. Go ahead. Agent Campbell. I trust you are aware of the President's recent lapse in judgment? Yes, quite the blunder. I tend to agree, which is why I am contacting you. We need to get control of this situation. I need you to mind wipe everyone again, like you did with the alien situation last year. That's impossible. A mind wipe on that scale can't be done more than once every 18 months. 18 months? The technology was neither designed for that kind of capacity or frequency. We'll need to try another approach. We cannot afford to wait that long. What do you recommend as an alternative? I've already put together a team. And we have a potential solution. Since POTUS already outed us and we can't simply mind wipe the entire planet again, the logical solution is to downplay it. But then we would lose our anonymity. There would be no more operating in secrecy. So we move from operating in the dark to operating in a state of twilight. Let's face it. The world's changed a lot in the last 10 years. The sort of cases we handle have been happening with greater frequency. Vampires, soul renderers, people with highly unorthodox teleportation abilities. Maybe it's time we embrace the new normal. And how would you go about creating this new normal? Agent Armstrong has this idea for a propaganda piece a documentary so absurd that it gets people arguing about what's real and what isn't. Then we let social media do the rest. Hmm, a simple yet effective solution. I approve. We can get people to believe anything if we put it on the internet with high enough production value. The simpler the explanation, the more people will bend and twist it to suit their own narrative. And where do we begin? I'll let Agent 
Armstrong explain. We establish a baseline by bringing in experts to talk about the psychology behind conspiracy theories. No one listens to experts anymore anyway, so it'll help. Talk a little about the nature of conspiracy theories. So the brain is sort of like a, an organic computer. Um, when there are gaps in knowledge, it sort of fills in the blanks. And what are some of the more popular conspiracy theories that have circulated over the years? the ones the average person would be familiar with? Sure, sure, that's a great question. So you have the Illuminati, uh, the Saimaki Collective, the uh, supernatural, um, parallel universes, time travel, aliens. This is such bullshit. I can't believe they pulled me out of the field to listen to this crackpot ramble about conspiracy theories. You have theories. teleportation, you have JFK, flat earth theory, climate change, you have Bigfoot, uh, you have a uh, skunk ape, and you have meth gator. Did they just say meth gator? Yep. Teleport. Can you talk more about that? Sure, sure. There are rumors that there is someone that actually teleports into bathrooms. And since we're talking about experts, we should interview some of our agents about the cases they're covering. Run any information you think we should declassify by me and I will take care of it. If we need to clear anything with you, we'll let you know. We need to bring in conspiracy theorists. The more the better. Gabbard and Brown have encountered their fair share of colorful characters. I'll have them stop by and speak with you about it. What about a celebrity? Did you have someone in mind? Hugh Jordan? That doesn't ring any bells. His stage name is Hugh Jorgen. He's kind of out there. He's formerly an A-list celebrity, but with all the things he believes and cancel culture, he's only able to get B-list movies now. Oh, well, <clears throat> get me his agent on the line. <laughs> Mr. Jorgen, or can I call you Hugh? We understand you're a proponent of conspiracy theories. I like to call them alternative facts. You know, the truth that the media won't tell you. Um, of course. It says here that you were an A-list actor, but were canceled due to your beliefs, and now you can only get parts in B-movies. Is that true? Yeah, Hollywood can't handle anything that's contrary to its agenda. I don't want anyone telling the truth. And I uh, may have slapped someone at the Oscars. Oh, well, tell us about the films you've been in. Oh, uh, Hick Pricks, Don't Haze Me Bro. Most people have noticed me from that. Oh yeah, that Dave guy. He was a little obsessed with Department 24. I'm sure he'll have a few things to say. I'll add him to the list. Anyone else I should add? Harris suggested that you've encountered more than one colorful person. I wasn't there, but there was this guy Brown told me about. What did he call himself? Bunker or something? Bunker Steve. Yes. Colorful is an understatement. Tinfoil hat and everything. Brown told me he had to trade the Kubrick moon landing reels just to get the guy's lost Tesla journals. I mean, are those things even real? Unfortunately so. The moon landing wasn't until much later. Admittedly, not our finest moment. This place never ceases to amaze me. Oh, if you need someone to talk about teleportation, not to brag or anything, but I'm pretty much an expert. We've already got that covered. They call him the accidental traveler because he just teleports from toilet to toilet. There are many reports of him showing up in places that were previously unoccupied. Teleportation? Now that witness was probably drunk. I'm sure he was hallucinating from all the butt chugging and listening to that Snoopy Snoopy Dub Dub music. That's what the kids do today, right? Now me, I'm a classic conspiracy theorist. Conspiracy used to mean something. They had imagination. Hick Pricks 2, um, Back to the Future 4, that one never got released. So you're saying you were there and it never happened? 
it never happened. These young yahoos, they just have no imagination at all. None. You sound angry about that. Well, yes, I'm angry. These youngsters need to stay off my damn lawn with their boring conspiracies. Caligula, Blackula, uh, Deep Throat, Shallow Throat, and No Throat. Uh, Debbie does Dallas, Debbie does Knoxville, Debbie does Detroit, Debbie does Knoxville, Debbie does Maynardville, and also Bambi 3. Oh, Knoxville twice. That's right. Talk to me about your research into Department 24. Department 24 is just a reiteration of the boogeyman. So for years, we've told our children stories to scare them, to keep them from doing certain things, make them follow the rules. So it's just a continuation of that, pushing our fears down on to our kids so that they don't act up. Department 24 has their hands in everything. They always do. They're part of the New World Order. And they're forced to wield the elites. Basically, they're shady bastards. You know, I always knew Department 24 was real. But nobody believed me. But I knew. I knew. Now, Department 24 and the Accidental Traveler, from what I understand, have a long interconnected history, but, uh, well, they haven't caught him. Nope, they haven't caught him. I'm not saying that Department 24 is aliens, but they definitely are aliens, 100%. No, no doubt about it. But whenever I'd bring them up, people would say, Oh, Dave, stop with these conspiracy wackadoodle news sources you're part of. Stop with the fake news. Be seeing you. I mean, heavens, it's all over the interweb. Oh, is that all you need me for? Yes, I believe that'll do. Thank you for coming in. Oh, you're welcome. Where did you say this was going to be released? We signed a deal with Webflix. Oh, I can hardly wait. Oh, oh, I meant to ask you, do I get IMDB credit for this? Thank you for your time. Bye. Idiot. Listen, it was barely a slap. It was more like a love tap, okay? Department 24 controls Hollywood. I'm done here. We're done here. Fuck all y'all. Damn it. I was promised there would be chili in the green room. Ward, are you still here? You've done your part. Just go, please. Amateurs. Could you bring Steve to set? Steve? Steve's gone! They don't want me on camera. I'm not doing this interview. Who's telling you, Steve? Who's telling you not to do the interview? Don't you touch me! It's just lizard people trying to get me to buy electric cars! It's all right, Steve. They want you to do the interview. No, they don't! Yes, they do. No, they don't! Yes, they do. Gay frogs! Chemtrails! DARPA! FEMA camps! Illuminati! Always knew Department 24 was real, okay? I mean, I've just known it from the beginning, all right? They're all lizard people who are waging their shadow war against the Skiamaki Collective, all right? They invented social media, okay? To keep us divided, to censor free speech, and to spread their lies. And where did you come across this information? Facebook, okay? Facebook. Facebook has all the answers. You just gotta look at the face, okay? I had a friend whose brother's second cousin's girlfriend's drug dealer who worked at Department 24, okay? And he made a video about it. And the production quality was, mm, was fire. That's how you know it's true, okay? That's how you know it's true. Let me ask you this. Have you ever seen nuts in a donut before? That's pretty crazy to me. It's called donuts. It's in the name. But all that's in it is dough. Hello, sheeple. Uh, the shepherd's calling. <laughs> it's time to get back into the barn, people. 
that's when I know about Department 24. I could uh, get an interview with the guy who created the time travel serum. No, no. The public never needs to know about that. I, it's just something I heard. Never mind. Some information is better kept on lockdown. Does everything else work for you? The DIC seems to have everything well in hand. Paulson will handle post-production. When your team is finished, work with him. Of course. I'll keep you posted if there's anything we need. I appreciate your hard work. Harris, out. Well, that wasn't nearly as cringeworthy as I thought it was going to be. Told you it wasn't so bad. No, he really is. Well, we have a lot of work to do. You two are dismissed. <sighs> How's everything looking? I'm still waiting on a few things from your team. But so far, it's looking good. We need to push this out as soon as possible. How much longer do you think it'll take once you get the rest of the footage? Probably around two weeks. Two weeks? I promise never deliver, right? Farther along. I should be able to wrap it up in about a week. Oh, fantastic news. I'm synced with your display, so show me what you got. Yeah, fine. Need a break anyway. How about it? That is the worst thing I've ever seen. The president's a buffoon. That Steve guy's an idiot. And while that psychologist, <laughs> what a quack. There's no way Department 24 is real. And if I wasn't so compelled to innocently stand by, who knows, I might do something about it. Nah. Fox. Space Giants.